Okay, boys, I think that I'm not capable of resisting the grabs of modern technology. Um, so, like, recently I got, I had Snapchat, and I was just texting people on there, like, every now and then I watch a bit of stories and stuff like that, and I'd, like, beforehand, before I had Snapchat, I was, like, super consistent with things like meditating, reading, working, exercising, you know, like, I was doing, I was doing everything, not, not, I could definitely do better, but I was doing good, I was definitely, like, meditating every day, reading five, six days out of a week, I was, I was doing good, and then I got Snapchat, and then suddenly I started becoming a bit inconsistent, I don't, I don't know what, like, coincidentally, I just started, like, sloping down, and this wasn't just with Snapchat, like, this is the most recent one, so I'm gonna, like, say Snapchat a lot, but even back when I had Instagram in, like, July, I was, like, here, but then I would slope down, just out of nowhere, I'd be doing useless things, like, I'd be scrolling, watching people's stories that I didn't even care about, and, like, all this just useless crap that I didn't need, and then today I watched a video by a guy named Luke Spurgeon, and it was a video saying, like, Hamza, we st- we stand with you, brother, or something like that, and it was basically, Hamza was talking about TikTok, and, like, it's how it's dangerous, and I think that could be the same for Instagram, Snapchat, or all these, like, modern media, all the, all the modern media stuff, then I started noticing, like, wow, like, it's, it's bad, and I would just get really inconsistent, and then I watched the video, and then I realised, like, oh my gosh, this, this has gotten worse than I thought it was, it wasn't just that I was inconsistent in some of my habits, it was that I was breaking eye contact, like, I kind of noticed that I was breaking eye contact a lot more, I was, like, weirdly, like, breaking eye contact with people who I'd hold strong eye contact with, even now, you might notice, like, in the video, I'm, like, breaking eye contact. I'm looking here, looking there, looking there. And, and like, not just looking at you. So, <laughs> like, it got worse. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know how it happened, but it just happened. And I think I kind of now understand why. These modern media tech companies are fighting... A, like they are fighting for your most valuable asset as a young man as a young person they're fighting for your most valuable asset it's your attention they're fighting for your attention and now you've probably heard this like oh they're fighting for your attention oh the attention is the most valuable currency attention 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 but you don't like you probably like what actually do they mean by attention And I'm going to give you a simple definition of attention. It's just your time and energy put into a specific thing. So right now, for example, you're giving me your energy. You're giving me your attention. And so you're giving me your time and energy. And maybe you like that. Maybe you benefit from that because you're learning something or like you find something valuable out of this video. For whatever reason, you're giving me your attention. Right? And there's two people, really. There's people who... You might have heard this from Andrew T. I think it was... There's people who give attention and there's people who take attention. And... Or give energy and take energy. And so... Right now, I'm... You could say I'm taking your energy. I'm taking your attention. I'm taking your time. And I'm taking your energy. And thank you for... Thank you for doing that, by the way. And then you're giving me your attention. So... Right now, what do you think the most valuable currency is? Because it's not money, it is attention. Really think about it, right? Who's who's profiting the most in, like, anything right now? It's the people with the most attention. It's the people with the most influence. It's the people... The people who make the most money in today's society are those who are well-known, those who have influence, those who have... And those are the people who have power. Also, the time you're giving, like, this is the problem with Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, and stuff like, and, like, Netflix, porn, 
video games, stuff like that. They're taking your attention. They're taking your time and energy. You give that to video games, for example. And then most of it is wasted because it's in the virtual world. And as soon as you come to the real world, it's it's gone. Poof. Gone. And now you just have to sit with the fact that you're a flipping weenie. <laughs> like, now, you, now you have to sit with the fact that you've just dedicated six, seven hours. And you've gained not even... What have you gained from it? Nothing. Now maybe like you see this and you're like... You're, you're giving me however long this video is, right? And then, like, you, you might you might come out of it and you might have got, like, a positive return on investment. But most of the things that you put your time and energy into probably isn't giving you that same positive return on investment. Probably not giving you the same return. Because of these platforms take your attention. They do, they do this, by the way. Like, they take your attention on purpose. Like, right now, you might even be disagreeing. Like, no, 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 he's wrong, he's wrong because of X, Y, Z, and 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 this and that and this and that. And these platforms have almost, like, conditioned you in a way where you are so heavily addicted to the platform. You are so... You have put so much time and energy into this platform that now, literally, your thoughts are almost, like working for them like they're they're there thinking like like right now if i said like you should delete tiktok i guarantee i guarantee some of you weenies out there are thinking no 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 right now i guarantee you're like you're having a spasm right now because i've told you like i've told you tiktok's bad and you're there fighting for reasons why like a flipping weenie like these platforms with these modern tech companies, they spend thousands, hundreds, millions, right? Hundreds of millions to keep you hooked to the platform, right? Now, you might, like, they, they've they optimised, like, the colour, the specific type of red, the specific, like, app logo that they should use, how how you should go onto the platform, what the notifications sounds like. They, they've, like, split-tested split this. They've done so many things to keep you hooked to the platform, right they've done so many things to hook your attention and you're probably wondering why this is i'm heavily emphasizing and why i'm so passionate about your attention and it's uh do you like how do i explain this to you right your attention is super valuable like just ask yourself right now do you expect to be successful like, maybe a few years down the road, do you expect to be successful? Do you expect, like, anything greater, riches, success in general? Because really, really think about it, right? It's simple as this. To be successful, you need to put your time and energy into the right things. And we said attention is time and energy. So if you're putting your time and energy, your attention, into the right things, you're probably going to be successful. But guess what? You're putting it... To into some stupid other like dumb thing right and like you how do i explain it man like really think about it you can't be successful if you're putting your time and energy into the wrong things because really think about it imagine a guy who spends like all his time and energy in a side hustle you you, you he's bound to be successful if a if a guy studies like relentlessly every day he comes home puts all his attention his all his time and energy into studying of course he's going to get top marks but if you're spending it watching like tiktok instagram you're on snapchat or like you know like all these modern platforms porn video games netflix like obviously you might not be like you probably won't be successful you're spending all your time and energy into the wrong things you're making instagram successful you're making Snapchat successful. You're making TikTok successful. You're making that next video game successful. Not you, them. People who take energy, people who give energy. And any time, right, you give these modern platforms your your energy, your growth is being stunted. Really think about that. Your growth is being stunted. Because if you put time and energy into the right things you know read exercise meditate journaling doing all these good habits right 
you're bound to be more successful because you're putting your time and energy into the right things. But most of the time, right, if you're putting it into TikTok, these Andrew Tate shorts, like, like, all these, like, short form videos, right, like a flipping loser, like, you're probably not going to be successful, like, I'm trying to drill this into your head, can you understand that if you don't put your time and energy into the right things, you're stunting your growth, you're stunting your chances of success, now, that can change right now, or, or you can just stop listening, and be like, nah, 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 it gives me enjoyment, Uh, start coping, right, and you can just go back and live in your la-la land, your, your, where, where it's all sunshines and rainbows, or you can understand, like, the, where the world is going right now, right, where you might have to decide between electricity and hot water, I'm going to use this, right, I'm, I live in the UK, so, right now, like, we're getting at a point, where we might have to decide between hot water and electricity, and you're you're there, (laughs) you're there, scrolling on TikTok, and then racking up screen time until, like, TikTok's at, like, three hours, you you might have to decide between hot hot water and electricity, and instead, you're, like, (laughs) you're there, doing nothing, one, oh, God of War came out, bro, like, do you not understand? Like, you soon you might, like, bro. This gets serious. Like, you're there. You might, I'm going to draw this into you. You might have to decide between whether you want your light on or whether you want to be able to turn your shower on. And you're there. Hmm. Do I buy FIFA 23? You're a flipping weenie. <laughs> you're a flipping weenie. You're being stupid. Come on. You've got you've got to get into gear. If there's like you should have got into gear a long time ago. But this is the second best time. Right, get into gear. Start watching Emangadzi Hamza. Maybe maybe if you like me, subscribe to me. You've got to start getting into gear, start kicking into gear, because no one else is gonna do it for you. Right? You gotta start putting your attention to good use. Because there's a war for our attention. Like, data companies are fighting for your attention. You've got to start putting that into the right things, man. You've got to start getting into gear. Because otherwise, you aren't you. Someone someone else controls you. You don't control your own thoughts. You don't control who you are as a person. You've got to take a stand, bro. You've got to start fighting for what, like, for what is rightfully yours. You've got to fight for your time. You've got to fight for your attention. You've got to fight. You've got to fight for your energy back. You've got to fight for your power. Take a stand. Subscribe. Join the revolution, man. Peace.